Welcome everyone to my channel, La Cocina Abierta. Today, we're going to do chicken and portobello mushroom fajitas. So, let's get to it. For our ingredients, we are going to use zucchinis, portobello mushrooms, and peppers. We're also going to use an onion and two cloves of garlic. We're going to first start off by slicing our zucchinis. Also going to take out all the seeds from our peppers and then we're going to proceed and slice them. Once our pepper have been deseeded and sliced, we're now going to proceed and slice our onions. So now I am going to oil my pan with a paper towel and turn up the heat to medium high. I am now going to put all my sliced up onions and wait until they're caramelized for about 5 minutes. I am also adding um, salt and pepper and this will also help make the onions sweat. Right before I take out the onions, I am going to add crushed, the crushed garlic in there and I'll let it cook for about one or two minutes. After that, I take out my caramelized onions and I set them aside. And then now I added my peppers into the pan. But before I did that, in the bowl that we're in, I added salt and pepper. to let them cook until they're t a little tender but they still have a bite into it. I usually like my vegetables with a bite. Once they are ready I'm going to take them out and I'm going to also set them aside with the onions. And I'm adding a little bit of oil um, I'm also going to put the uh, zucchinis inside. Prior to putting the zucchinis into the pan, I put uh, chili powder, salt, and pepper. And I'm going to now let them cook until like about 5 minutes until they're tender but still have that bite into it. Once I reach that consistency with that bite still into the zucchini, I am now going to set it aside with the rest of the ingredients.
spices that I'm going to use to cover my portobello caps and chicken is going to be onion powder, garlic powder, chili powder, oregano, salt, pepper, and oil. I don't have exact measurements, but you guys put as much or as little as you want. Once you have mixed the spices in a bowl, you are now going to rub all of them, all of the spices on the top and the bottom of the portobello mushroom. Once my portobello mushrooms are all spiced up, I am going to put them in my air fryer for about 10 to 15 minutes. The same spices that I use for my portobello mushrooms, I am also going to add that into my bowl where I have about four boneless uh, sliced up thighs. And I'm going to mix it all in there. Sorry if I'm using my hands. They're cleaned. In the same hot pan that I cooked my vegetables in, I am putting the chicken and I am going to cook it for about 10 minutes. Once the portobello mushrooms were ready, I sliced them up and I put them in a bowl and set them aside. Here I have my warm tortilla and I am now ready to assemble my fajita. I am first putting some portobello mushrooms. And now I'm going to add some delicious bell peppers. Some zucchini. And some nicely caramelized onions. I love my fajitas to have some heat into it. So I'm going to add some of this green hot sauce. And it comes from Yawalika, Jalisco. It's really spicy, but really good with a good flavor into it. Here I have my, also my chicken fajita. And they're ready to eat. As you can see, this was an easy meal to prepare. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give this meal a try. And don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and until next time, Buen provecho.